I thank you so much for your love and support. If you are not familiar with the storage classes, uh, please check out the video linked in comment box. It will make understanding and solving this question much simpler. These are five more questions and uh, will help you to practice storage class. Uh, so let's get started. The first question is create a storage class named CSI. Uh, this is the name. Okay with the following specification this specification is clear here but you might get in a word so you could have to extract it from the question so now uh storage classes i'll go to the kubernetes documentation or in examination you will find the links with reference to any of the documents or things required so you that you can easily click and that page will open but uh that facility is not here with me so i am opening this page and uh, uh, a quick tip you should work in firefox so you are you could be able means you are ready with the the navigation style there so uh i'll go to storage class so storage class no more no much scroll and you'll find the storage class file easily. You can just via dot yaml. Oh, oh. I'll paste it here and not deal any. First, I'll read the question if anything required. So use provisioner set default class as default. So I have to check uh, whether already uh, available or not. So I can get storage classes. So here this is available. So I will change it. So first I'll check back. I'll take backup. It is very much advisable to take uh, any backup, uh, whatever you change, because uh, if something goes wrong, you can revert. Okay, edit. Sorry, local path. I'll redirect it to backup storage class dot VML. Now I'll edit. Okay, edit storage class local path, and here you will find that the storage class Kubernetes. This is true. I make it false. K okay, get a storage class. So look the difference here. It is default, but here nothing is there. So this is already done. So this is not default. So we can make our storage class default. So go to the file and now make changes as per the question. So storage class name is CSI. This always do copy as much as possible from the question so you can avoid typo mistakes here it is false so you need to make it true and provisioner is same i see so this is the provisioner and reclaim policy set reclaim policy to retain so it is already set here allow volume expansion allow volume expansion is true add mount option to discard the mount option to discard is already there use wait for the customer volume binding mode volume binding mode is wait for the customer so this parameter is not asked so you can happily delete it you can press double d okay escape you can press double d so delete it and now you can uh, this also but uh, comment you can also delete but no issue if it is not changed okay w cube but if you make it clean uh it very good so wq and k apply one f storage classes this is created control l k get storage classes so now your created is showing in default one thing is also there save this configuration to a file name this and apply it so i already applied it but uh, so what i will do cp the storage class ml file to sc so cat sc so this is also there okay control l now question number two you already have a default storage class named old default so i'll refresh this scenario you already have a storage class named old default you created old default you created a new class a fast fsi already applied but forget to mark as it as a default a get storage classes so here it but this is not required because uh, our scenario is little different so okay so we have to create the scenario now don't worry uh old default and second one is fast ai fsi paste it okay uh this will you find in a blog or any comment uh link in a comment box so paste what you have done already created two storage classes and now what question says you already have default storage class old default and you created fast csa already applied but forget to mark as default okay 
patch first uh, CSI to default storage storage class and remove the default annotation from the old default. So k get storage class. This is showing in default and this is not. So what this question is showing? Remove this default and make this is default. So you can do it by two steps. Means uh, it here patch is written. So I advise to get the, do it via patch. Otherwise you can do it via edit also. So first you have to make this default clause to false. So I'll take a backup first. Old default old d backup dot eml. So now I will cat it eml. So this is the thing which required. Sorry, I had wrong file cat. I cat wrong file. Uh hyphen backup dot eml. Sorry, uh here one mistake I have done. Uh here i forgot to write hyphen oml hyphen o y a m l so now i'll get it so you will find this annotation in earlier example also i had uh, taken a i had done a mistake here so don't forget to write hyphen o y m l uh, so that you can get to yaml file uh, now this storage class annotation this is true so i would like to make it false so this is you can directly copy it till here because patch command uh, seems little difficult so from metadata you will copy till here just copy it and now k patch storage i'll make con storage class one minute i'll make control l uh, so i will be in top now i'll make k patch storage class and then name name is fast csi and i have to make it true so hyphen p hyphen p and paste now i need to make one here here and closing brackets to so mark how much bracket one two three while writing your patch command be careful so fast fsi is patched so k get storage class both are seeing in default so you have to remove this mark it as a uh, so similar command but instead of uh, this instead of this true you need to make it false and uh, in this you have to make it old default now k get storage class now this fast fsi is default fast fsi default and remove the default annotation from old default so done two questions are done now control l uh, if you want to take a backup then i all uh, i had done a little mistake there uh, so you have to write this hyphen o yaml i forgot this two option the two and uh, so you need to follow these steps okay control l now question number third create a storage class create a storage class named perf hyphen csi hyphen sc using csi driver example provisioner but do not make it default it must be allow expansion include the parameter guaranteed right to true immediate and use delete as a reclaim policy so this is in this okay so copy this and first via make it and then copy the storage class paste and now you have to change the thing as per the question this question this expansion allow expansion allow volume expansion so volume expansion is true include do not make it default so it is false provisioner is uh, example or vendor okay same no issue volume mount is uh, true this true and the immediate this is immediate immediate paste immediate if you find any issues means uh, what would be the uh, i is uh, small or fall small or capital so i will explain you and uh, this is true and use the policy is delete then this policy is delete here default value is delete okay so i'll make it so k api hyphen resource record chalo api resources bang karo api resources hyphen grip storage class okay so k explain i'll copy this or i can copy sc so you will find uh, this immediate volume binding mode volume binding mode this is immediate so you'll know the spell is immediately spell is like this and spell is like this okay so no need to worry if you want uh, don't know what the i should be i is uh, small or capital or in delete d is capital or small so i'll apply k apply 
hyphen f that sc okay k get storage class so fast f this is your storage class so so i'll refresh it my fourth task is uh run a command to identify with the uh, storage class is currently as default run a command to identify which storage class is currently set as default provide the kubectl command output shows showing the correct storage class okay so just a simple command k get storage classes okay this is your answer so here you find this is default and provide the give shield output showing the correct storage class annotation so you can describe it so here you will find it is true then question number five uh create a new storage class so control l k get get storage class so here it is default if you have to make it uh, k we did first take a backup k get storage class local path hyphen o yaml and then this local dot is to local st dot backup yaml and then k edit storage local path come to the storage classes kubernetes default i know it is boring and uh, next time i will try to make it little interactive also so make it false and escape wq k get storage class this is okay now i have to create it via storage classes no file is name a specific file name required so via ml i'll copy this yaml file copy provisioner if you want to know the yaml shortcut i'm creating a video for this also make this is true name is cluster one one and uh, this thing which is not required just delete it i love expansion not required this is not required this is not required so happily k apply hyphen f storage and k get storage class so cluster one is default so here we got all the steps so better uh try to solve it by your own uh and practice 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 because i know you can have means you are expertise and you know all the things but in exam time it is very much uh, means uh, means kubernetes is a uh, race against time like thing so practice a lot and you will be proper thank you so much for your love and support we'll